welcome to Five Star Friday here on the past. That means ready to review it and give it all five stars because it's Friday. Whoop, whoop. It's your man OG Constant here, joined by Obi Ron and Yo. my man Turtle in the Frozen Tundra Studios out in Denver. Turtle, what's happening, player? I'm living that Rocky Mountain high life, dude. Well, folks, today we are going to talk about, well, damn it, what everyone else is talking about because the shit's interesting. Mississippi State <laughs> versus Alabama. <laughs> we gave you our picks earlier in the week, and so uh, we just chose today to kind of expand on it. Uh, I'm still siding with Alabama uh, trying to hand it, going to hand it to Mississippi State. And by hand it, I mean it's going to be a close game. I don't mean it's going to be an ass whooping. Really? But I think that Alabama is going to do this so they can get in the four, in really? the top four. Yeah. Of course. I think we all pick Bama, but I don't I th- I don't think it's going to be close. No? No, man. I think Mississippi Mississippi State has been I won't say struggling, but they have not been impressive in their wins, right? Since they got the number 1 ranking. They haven't looked as sharp. They looked sharp those first 3 weeks, first 4 weeks maybe. But since then, they haven't looked as sharp. I think they're ripe for the pickings, and Alabama has to win this game. Well, to me, that just means Mississippi State is that much better because you look good in the beginning of the year because no one's expecting it. And then once you get scouted, do you know what I mean? So if they're still eking out wins, that's good for them. But it still doesn't – it doesn't make – I'm still siding with Alabama, as you are. Yeah, 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 for sure. Them not pulling out impressive wins doesn't – make me fold on them i just feel like alabama like turtle and i were saying the other day like i always saw alabama as being in the top four and i just think saban's gonna make that happen yeah well yeah. for sure yeah no doubt i don't care if but he has to choke a kid it's i think happen. actually i think the interesting question is whether or not the mississippi um, let's assume mississippi state loses this game how far do they fall i think they'll still be in the top five yeah. maybe swing down to uh, i don't know man i, I say, don't know it'll be interesting but they'll they'll still be a top five team but top four is the only thing that really matters. I think they'll drop down to maybe two, which would push Oregon to three, which could push Florida State out if someone else does well. Who do you think goes to one? Um, think Alabama jumps all the way to one? No. Maybe. No. Maybe. No, I would say Oregon jumps to one again. Yeah, let's assume oh, everybody else but, wins but out. The thing about it is, is uh, 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 and it, I think it's going to boil down to opinions at that point. It, I agree. And it's going to so, get really and so interesting. You ha- and so you have to think, like, the people that are making these decisions got hard-ons for teams like Alabama and stuff like that. So sure. if, they, if they, especially if they ball Mississippi yeah. State, if they ball them, they'll be like, yo, you know what I'm I saying? Like, these guys are our number one now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because they'll start to look at conference. They'll start to look at strength of schedule. They'll start to look at these things. And Oregon would be a decent argument. But people think that Oregon comes from a soft conference, sort of. Right. In football minds. Yeah, I hear you. You know what I mean? A lot of people aren't sold on Oregon like I am. I, I think the kid's great. I well, think it's a great team. And at what point does the undefeated pressure start to hit? Right? So... Mississippi State goes and loses. Everybody else wins. Let's just say hypothetical. Right. So Florida State's now 10-0. At what point does that pressure just sort of force them into the number one? I don't know because you still so have... Their strength of schedule is not as good. I get it, but... You still have people trying to clamor that, T- that TCU should be in this mix, too. TCU's in four. stay in there, though. But, I mean, should stay in the mix. If they win out... Like that. That's what I mean. Like, if they play well and people are a little suspect on Florida State... TCU could go up a notch. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. It would be interesting. It, that's why it boils down to opinion. That's why this is cool that there is a playoffs, but yeah. like mm. it's a smoke screen because it's like, yo, man, me and my dudes are going to get in the room, smoke a few cigars, look at a few schedules, yeah. and say, yo, we think that these guys should be in there, and you're going to believe us because we're experts. It's still strength of schedule, man. I still have a problem with that. You can't run the playoffs off strength of schedule. If you want to do it properly, you're just going to have to – Bite the bullet and do a conference champions playoffs. Yeah. Just do it that way. It's easy. Build the old Christmas tree. We'll get an extra week of playoffs. Maybe two. Who's going to complain? Nobody. Nobody. Uh, nobody. But you'll have an undisputed champion at the end of it. And if you're the tops of some crappy conference, Marshall, okay, you'll still get a seat at the table for the playoffs and get whoop. Yeah. 
It seems to work that way kind of in high school football a little bit. A little bit, yeah. You know what I mean? They have the classes and things like that, and then you can have class championships. So I I don't – there's there's really no way to ever decide who the champion is unless they play it out. Agreed. There's got to be a reason that they don't do it, though. That's the thing. That's the thing that irks me. Like, what's the reason? Because it probably cuts into the school's profits. Well, yeah.